Hey guys, so today we finally got news about a new upcoming DLC and some other news that you can already see here on the start page, this 100 million heroes thing that we will talk about later. First, let me quickly start the game. So now I'm here in the base camp and all of you should remember that prior to the last DLC, the Howling Peaks, this little cave here wasn't here. Now, just yesterday they released a video on their Twitter that is showcasing something that is going to happen very soon with this little cave. Let me show you that little clip. As you could see, this cave is in some way or shape related to the nether. At least we got a little view of something that looked like a nether biome. And we got to see a new type of armor that basically looks like a Halloween costume of a skeleton. And they didn't stop there. Just one day after that, which is today, they made another announcement, announcing the next big update and DLC that we will see. And it is the Flames of the Nether DLC. Now here you can see every detail of the DLC. I won't go into too much detail here. Here, but there's one thing that I really want to point out here and this has nothing to do directly with the DLC even if we can see things like the two new skins that are included in the DLC or the baby gas pad that we will get. But the thing that I really want to talk about is the free content patch that we will get and this is a really big thing. They even put it as their most ambitious free update in Minecraft Dungeons history. And this is finally going to address the biggest issue that the game has and this is no endgame content. Now what we will get here is something that they call Ancient Hunts. And this will be generated endgame missions that weave in and out of the nether. And if you survive these uh, hunts by beating the mobs in within, you get top tier gear and the chance to get gold, which is a new currency that you can trade at the Piglin, which is a new merchant in your camp. And this will be our new endgame content and I really hope that it will stay true. That this will be the answer to all the issues that we have currently in the game, that once you reach a certain point, that there is no real reason to continue playing the game anymore. I really hope that they pull it off in the way that it was made in Diablo 3, where the player base still, years after the release, has still a reason to play the so-called rifts there, which will push the player to their maximum capability. Also they said that they will do a little changes about Apocalypse Plus here and there, and that they will release the update on the 24th of February. And as this isn't just about two weeks, you should get really excited about it, and I am already really excited about the new changes, and I can't wait to see what they bring to the table in terms of endgame content. And coming back to the start of the video now, there was this message in game about the 10 million heroes. Now this is what this is, um, it is basically about some achievements that we as a community did, like nearly 6 million kills of the Arch Illager and some other stuff. And as a thank you, we will get a pet and a new cape that we can see on the top here. And yeah, this will also come on the 24th of February together with the update. And this is already all for this video. Just a real quick update on what is going on and the new stuff that is coming very soon. And just a quick reminder for you guys watching this video that in the future there will be more non-English content here on this channel. This is just stuff taken from my live stream to YouTube. And if you're only here for the Minecraft Dungeons yes. content that is English only, you can just relax. This will still happen as you can see here and there will nothing be changed about that. So now as always, thank you all for watching and I hope to see you next time. Bye bye.